south, the way the wind's blowing. You, why you got a why you got a law? You better get it. This little curve right here out. Well, as think. big as that tree is, it's not going to affect you. Just go and get you an eight you or think? ten foot out of it. Yeah. And what kind of tree? Poplar. Yeah, we've been wanting to get this out of here. Yeah, I've been wanting this thing out of here for a long time. Them limbs. Like okay, here we have the logs from the tree we cut down in the field there by the fence. These are some nice size logs, a good two foot in diameter. He's going to have lumber cut out of all these to use on his place here. These are some nice logs. He got one, two, three, four giant logs out of that tree. A good eight to ten feet long. Plus we've got all these oaks over here that we cut down to have cut up. <laughs>
the difference in the drive. Bro. A lot. Okay, here we are. We're over at my neighbor's house. We sawed logs yesterday that was cut off of our homesteads. And there's a large sawdust pile uh, left here by the mill. Wanda and I are going to be gathering this stuff up today in buckets, taking it back to our chicken pens and putting it in our chicken houses to help absorb some of the ammonia and odor scents and plus just create some compost because the ammonia, uh, that's a high nitrogen and you need that to be able to break this sawdust down so that it can be used back. I'll show you that there's a whole long pile here where that machine left it when we was over here with our neighbors sawing logs that we cut out on the homestead. Okay, what we're going to do now is take this sawdust, we're going to put it in Wanda's chicken house here to help keep this thing kind of dried out in here. All right, we've got the chicken house completely covered, the whole floor covered in this sawdust, so we're going to see how this works. Okay. Mm. Throw it right there in that wet spot. Mm. 